Mr. Tips. Hey guys, it's Samira and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going back to school supply shopping, which is so bittersweet because like shopping, love it. Back to school, not so much. Although I'm very mixed about school. Like I like seeing my friends, of course. Don't love learning, don't love tests, but I do thrive off of academic validation. And I also love routines and just like waking up at the same time every morning and then having weekends to chill, hang out with my friends and stuff. Although I have been loving summer. It's been so chill, just going to Hawaii, hanging out with my friends and just stuff like that. But yeah, today we're gonna go back to school sh supply shopping at Target. Probably gonna more be shopping for like fun stuff because this is the first year my mom has an order from the school. So I can get like fun notebooks that she's gonna buy me mechanical pencils fun stuff like that and then later we're gonna go to walmart probably not in this video and just pick up like i guess boring stuff like regular pencils and just plain stuff plain like index cards stuff like that and then i do have like a lot of binders at home but they're really ugly so i gotta decide if i want to get cute ones or just decorate the ugly ones and make them better but anyway let's get straight into this video <laughs> Books over here and folders. I feel like I have a similar one to this notebook. I have like a dark one though. Last year. I need to find a. Ooh, that's cute. I need to find um, a planner. This is really cute. I'm gonna put one of these in my basket. Pull back the sheet. The worlds that we see don't always look the same Where words have no place and time has escaped Ooh, that's where our hearts can last I like this one, this one, this one, and that one And not just pieces, pieces in a puzzle we can read Notebook section. Oh, wait, this one. Oopsie. And then I actually got this exact one and this one last year. So go watch my first back to school video if you want to see those two. Or those, those two. <laughs> this one's not bad either. I like that one too. I don't love the color on this, but this one's also cute. What the? What, the, what is this? In this, it has like a zipper. Better the moon And we're finding truth In the way that you go Baby, go Grow, baby, grow Don't leave it all for the other side And just go, baby, love Don't do let go Hang it Alrighty guys, so got back from Target And that was actually a few days ago I decided to hold off on filming this portion Just because it was really stormy and cloudy out And the lighting was just not the best And also I wanted to collect some school supplies I've already had around the house actually From last year that we just didn't use Because we were at home for some of the time So I had like binders, index cards, pencils That I didn't really need to buy So I just had to collect all of that So I can show you guys that as well Just because stuff I got from Target I only got a few things like maybe four or five things And just thought I would show that Just so you guys know exactly all the school supplies that I got for this year. So the first thing that I got is this five star folder and it's really cute. It has just like these daisies on it and it's black and it's really like heavy duty and then inside there's just like two pockets or whatever so pretty basic but i thought this would be great for like a take-home folder every year i feel like we need one for like homework and just like different papers that i need to take home every day this will be great because i can put a lot of stuff in it and that wasn't actually on our school list but i'm sure we're gonna need it anyway because every year we do so yeah i really like it it's cute the first time i've had a cute take-home folder I really like that and also good brand five star so yeah cannot wait to use this and it 
it also has like the holes right here so you can like put it in a binder if you want so I am going to be having a lot of binders that I have to carry around so I can even store it in one of them. The next thing I got is a blue sky planner. I feel like every year I get a blue sky planner and here it is. Basically it says 2021-2022 for the school year. It has this cute little gold lines as a design on this white cover and it is pretty big. I do like my planners like kind of big like that because then it has a lot of space to write everything that I want and there's just a lot of different sections and stuff rather than like getting a small one and I really like this I had a similar one last year that I really liked and I used a lot so I will be using this for sure and I do like how it like kind of matches I don't know it kind of gives me the same vibe as you know I'll have fun school supplies this year rather than my ugly stuff usually and the next thing is this notebook it's opal house and I actually really like this it's more for like personal uses I feel like I won't really use this too much for school here it is just has a notebook on it with like these little designs and a spiral notebook so it's hardback nice and it has like this little bookmark thing so i can keep my spot um i like this because there's actually like three sections it says there's 300 pages so there's three sections the first one is for to-do list second one is for notes and the other one is just empty so i can figure out what i want for that so i just like this i could probably have like you know a section for youtube a section for school a section for to-do lists so i think that would be really nice um so i don't need to use like 3,000 notebooks because if you guys have seen my that girl more routine i use like three or four notebooks and then i can just condense it all and just use this one which i think will be great next thing that i got is this pack of mechanical pencils these are like the nice ones like my mom doesn't understand she's like why are you buying 12 dollar pencils but literally they're like the good kind you know, like the ones that you push the button to like let the lead go like right here and then like the erasers you like spiral i'm contemplating returning them because they are 12 dollars um but they are really cute and i do have other mechanical pencils like more basic ones that come in really big packs uh downstairs just like in our school supplies area our like craft section but i really like these they're so cute like this just brings me back to like first grade when i had like a pack of three we'll see paper mate love that company and yeah i, I really like these but we'll see the next thing that i got is this pack of post-it notes on our supply list this year it said that we needed a bunch and it said like plain yellow but i'm like what's the difference my teacher gonna be like no get out of here you plain yellow one i don't think so so i got fun ones and my brother and i will probably split the pack but there's pink light green or like lime green blue orange and uh, pink so there's like five packs in here so i'm sure we could split it and it wasn't too expensive or anything so yeah Ooh, there's a spider get off of my room uh <laughs> the last thing that i got is, is this pack of 10 uh crayola markers and I really like these colors. They're like not the traditional ones, like the ugly ones. These are some pretty colors. I actually didn't see the regular packs. So maybe most people like the bold and bright colors now. Um, but it has like a pink, green, light blue, purples, yellow, red. So I really like this because it's like pretty, not like that like dark blue and stuff like that. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys what I already had at my house from last year. And if you guys want to see some more school supplies from Target, I actually did make a video last year. In addition to buying school supplies from the school, I went in with my own money bought some really fun stuff so you should go check out that video if you want to see some more fun school supplies from target